The opposition BJP held a large-scale protest at Freedom Park in Bengaluru on May 28th regarding various issues and alleged misgovernance in the state. They protested against the lack of proper roads and potholes in the city, especially as the rains increased the inconvenience to the citizens. They also protested against the law and order situation in Karnataka. Former Chief Minister D.V. Sadananda Gowda stated that law and order have become non-existent under the Congress government. He brought up the recent alleged suicide of an account superintendent officer belonging to the Karnataka Maharashi Balmiki Scheduled Tribes Development Corporation in his hometown Shimoga on May 26. Sadananda stated that this shed light on the prevailing corruption as it is a known fact that they are under pressure from the Chief Minister, Deputy Chief Minister and Ministers. Leader of Opposition, R. Ashoka, took a jibe at Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shivkumar's Pran Bengaluru project and stated that even after a year, not a single rupee had been released for its development. He even claimed that not even a single dry tree or branches were removed even after Chief Minister Sidra Maya's direction. The BJP warned that it would launch a massive agitation if the potholes were not filled and corruption continued to prevail in the state. When it comes to the, our garden city, international city, dynamic city, progressive city, city of Bangalore, the Congress government from the time it has come to the power in the state of Karnataka, it is completely failed to even address the basic concern, the part waste management, safe football, street light, dogs, even though they are not able to regulate, control the trade dogs, like this, the, even the law and order, the law and order completely it has collapsed, the drugs availability, the abuse of drugs, indulgence, for all uh, bad reasons, this government is in the, for, it's make, making news for all bad reasons, not for any good reason, even the basic utility like drinking water is not being provided, the law and order has completely collapsed, people are not feeling, are feeling, uh, feeling safe and even with regard to the economic progress, the service sector, IT, BT, all the sectors they have filled, the basic health care, education, housing, transport, you name the sector. This is one side they have failed with regard to the governments. The other side, they have increased the price of everything, electricity, drinking water, property tax, uh, bus transport, every possible service from property registration to every possible things, everything has increased, the rates have increased and they have made the people life misery, not in the terms of service, nor in the development, only they have been sucking the blood of the people by in indulging in corrupt practice and as well as exploiting through taxes. Law and order in Karnataka is good. Yes, murders have happened. Unfortunately, it should not have happened. And, uh, you know, I'll also, uh, you know, release some of the data when they were in power, when BJP was in power. Uh, how many murders happened? How was the crime rate? And what is, uh, you know, what was the situation at that point of time as far as law and order was concerned? And uh, in, during their time, was there any drugs at all? You know, or no drugs? Now they are saying Gutta, Bangalore and all those things. I have also requested them not to say such things. If they, there is anything, let them tell us. And I am going to release the data during their time, during our time. Then so the do you think the is protesting mm -hmm. to, uh, today? Yeah, yeah, let them do. It is their right to protest. It is their right to protest.